Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Andre, and the fire is going in the smoker already. And I decided to do ribs today because I haven't done them in a while. I love doing them, and I've got, I think, a great flavor of maple bourbon glazed ribs. So hang on. We're going to just go inside and get them all prepped. Okay, we're back inside and we've got these three beautiful baby back ribs. When one of my local suppliers has them on sale, you, you gotta grab them. So all we're gonna do is open these up and prep them real quick. The only prep we're gonna do, because they look good, I like taking the silver skin off I know some people do and some people don't. I just like taking it off so you minimize the risk of anything being chewy. So basically I'm gonna just take like a butter knife. There we go, we find a spot to get under. And then just peel it off. There we go. This we don't want. So I'm gonna finish these real quick. We will make the glaze, but I'm gonna use my normal garlic, pepper, salt, and ancho chili. We're still gonna put a rub on, like the rub on them because we want extra flavor. Not a crazy amount, we just want enough on there to help. Literally that simple, and now to the smoker. Okay, everybody, uh, let's get these on. And uh, we're at 225 right now, which is perfect. There we go. And I am going to put them on the hotter side. But I'm not going to blast the heat today. Make sure there's space between them because you want that air to go all the way around them. There we go. That's simple. And in and close it up. What I normally do, and I'm going to do it exactly the same because I like that when I have a baseline and I know it works, we're going to keep doing it that way. Normally, I let them go for two hours. Don't touch them. Leave them in there. And then pull them, depending on the color. And once I pull them, I wrap them and then put them on for another hour, hour and a half till they're tender. So we're going to do the same thing. So see you back when we wrap them. One nice thing about this is the ribs are in the smoker. I've got some time now. So let's prep the glaze. And I'm going to do it same ratios and everything and same ingredients that I do for my beef jerky rub, which is basically just... Good quality maple syrup. Yes, real bourbon. My chipotle powder I make. And I'm only and I'm gonna add some butter to this too, just to help cut the richness and sweetness, just to help make it smoother. So, anyways, let's get prepped. There we go. I want to keep the same ratios. That way I know if I do this again next time, do it this way and it's going to be good. Or the flip, to, flip side to that is if I do it and I'm not totally happy with how it turns out, I can tweak it and I know to go up or down in some of the ingredients. So it's for me coming from the industry, it's always good to weigh everything out, keep records, that way you know, just something I do. And it doesn't take any extra time. I'm gonna add a nice chunk of butter. Maybe a couple, there we go. Not too hot. We just wanna get everything hot here. Let it simmer down for a little bit. We want it thicker because as you see here, it's too, too runny it's just going to you put it on the ribs it's going to run right off we don't want that we want it a little bit thicker okay we got a 
light simmer going on here. Oh, this smells so good in here. And don't worry about the alcohol. The alcohol evaporates much lower than water, so there will be no alcohol left in here. So now we just gotta let this thicken up. Okay, everybody, we're just at two hours. They are looking fantastic. And of course, it's windy again. But we're gonna wrap these real quick and get them back in. Just See what I mean about the wind? Like, ah. So I'm doing it exactly the same as I normally do. And what I do there, I do put a little bit of butter on top. Just like that. And then back to the smoker. Next time you see me, we're gonna take them out of the wrap and then put the glaze on. So what we're gonna do is just unwrap these guys. Oh, look, oh. get rid of this. What we're gonna do now is take the glaze and you gotta be careful with this one because uh, there's a lot of sugar in that maple syrup and if you simmer it too long you're gonna end up with caramel. I have a nice thick glaze here. It's very thick. I've probably taken it a little bit too far but that's okay. It's really gonna stick to the the ribs and give them all that nice sweet spicy flavor. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. This smells so good. Beautiful. Put that to the side. These are all glazed now. We're gonna throw them back in the smoker for about 10 to 15 minutes. We just want this to set up a little bit more and then we're gonna taste them. So I'll be right back. They're gonna be messy, so I'm putting gloves on. Mmm, they look so good. I'm just gonna dive right in. Turn them over so I can see. They smell so good. Come on, focus. Look at that smoke ring. Mmm. Look that fall off the bone. Mmm. Mmm. That glaze totally works for this. Mmm. They're just where I like them. I could have let them go maybe a little bit more tender, but then they just like fall right off the bone. Ah, they still fall off the bone, but you have to bite them. Mmm. Okay, now that's really good. That just so works together. For this glaze, there's only the four ingredients, the maple syrup, the uh, bourbon, we got the chipotle powder, and then I added some butter. And that so works, it's so good. I love ribs. For me, that is a total winner. I will definitely do this again. Uh, that flavor combo works amazingly together. Now I see why so many people like the maple bourbon beef jerky. Damn, so good. And I'm gonna stop stuffing my face on camera and uh, go eat them. Guys, thanks for watching, I hope you had fun. Any questions, leave them below. And like always, happy eating.